It's uh, over 40 degrees today and I've just ridden bloody miles. The oil temperature was up to like um, 100 and <laughs> 112, I think it said. And uh, I mean, it's back down, be back down now. Just stripped all my gear off because it was bloody roasting. Uh, well, oh, it's back to 100 now. It's been sitting for a few minutes. <laughs> um, but I hear this noise. And I'm wondering if this is going to explode. Stand back. Yeah. If you hear this whining noise, uh, don't open your cap. Holy shit, that's hot. Holy shit, that's scary. Maybe my breather is uh, kinked. When I was in the Simpson Desert, uh, this happened and I opened the cap and it just shot out, you know, a foot in the air. Um, and not just one splash, but just kept streaming. It was uh, really horrifying. So yeah, when they get hot, you gotta be careful of this. Oh man, if I open the other, use the other hand. Yep, oh, see that? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. That petrol is hot and the fuel tank, maybe I should not have filled it up. I fill it up at the service station down Geelong. It's like 100 kilometers away. And, uh, yeah. Stop making that noise now, but. Man, that is, that is so scary. I think that once you, if you release the cap, um, like the, the tank is pressurized if you release the cap it um, the, the fuel boils and so it boils out see it's not like it's filled to the top or anything Whew. well I'll be checking my breathers that's uh, something you have to be careful I guess when you when you put these caps these covers back on whether you just make sure you haven't kinked the hose or something um, or that the breather inside the cap is uh, is clear. Scary, but I'm glad I listened to that noise. You wouldn't want to open the cap. Uh, it's it's messy. See ya.